If you want to buy notes, then check the link in the comment section and install the app now. At the end of this video, we will verify our answer by using circuit simulator. Question Find the current in branch AB of the circuit shown in figure using superposition theorem. Now we have to find the current through this branch AB by using superposition theorem. Solution First of all, we will consider the current due to this 6 volt voltage source. Consider current due to there are two 6 volt so we, we will consider left side 6 volt voltage source consider current due to left side 6 volt voltage source now here We are considering 6 volt voltage source, so we will turn off this 6 voltage source. Now when we turn off voltage source, that time it will be replaced by a short circuit. Now we have to find this current. Let's say this current is current I prime. Now according to the polarity of this voltage source, this will be the direction of this current I prime. Now here we can see this 6 8 ohm and 8 ohm are connected in parallel so their equivalent resistance will be let's copy this circuit from here first and we will write 8 ohm parallel with 8 ohm it is equal to 8 into 8 divided by 8 plus 8 so it is equal to 4 ohm now we can replace these two resistance by a single resistance value of 4 ohm so let's replace this by a resistance value of 4 ohm now before finding this I prime we have to find the value of this current I let's say this is I1 so to find I prime we need to find I1 now here we can see this 10 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in series so its equivalent resistance will be 14 ohm so let's copy this now here we can replace these two resistance by a single resistance of 14 ohm because 10 plus 4 is 14 so it will be 14 ohm now next let's Let's find the value of I1. Here we can see this 5 ohm and 14 ohm are connected in parallel. 5 ohm parallel with 14 ohm. It will be 5 into 14 divided by 5 plus 14. 5 into 14 divided by 5 plus 14. It is equal to 3.68. 3.68 ohm now again let's copy this now we can replace we can erase this part and we can replace these two resistance by a single resistance value of 3.68 3.68 6 8 ohm now the value of I1 can be easily find so it will be voltage divided by resistance so voltage value is 6 and resistance value is 15 plus 15 plus 3.68 so therefore I1 is equal to 6 divided by 15 plus 3.68 so it is 0 0.321 0 0.321 ampere but here we have to find the value of this I prime so let's take this circuit again 
now by using current division rule by using current division rule we can find the value of i prime it will be equal to this i1 multiplied with opposite branch resistance now opposite branch to this 14 ohm is 5 5 divided by 5 plus 14 therefore i prime is equal to i1 value is 0 0.321 into 5 divided by 5 plus 14 19 so therefore i prime is equal to 0 0.321 into 5 divided by 19 it is equal to 0 0.084 0 0.084 4 4 ampere also the direction of this i prime is rightwards so here we can write here we can give the arrow rightwards now next we have to find the value of i double prime now we will consider this 6 volt voltage source so let's consider consider right side 6 volt 6 volt voltage source now let's take this circuit from here copy this paste it here now when we consider this voltage source that time we have to turn off other sources now again this will be replaced by a short circuit and we have to find this current according to the polarity of this voltage source the direction of this current will be now like this and this will be i double prime let's say and this current is let's say i2 now here we can see this 15 ohm and 5 ohm are connected in parallel so 15 ohm parallel with 5 ohm it will be 15 into 5 divided by 15 plus 5 so 15 into 5 divided by 15 plus 5 so it is 3.75 3.75 now let's copy this also its unit will be ohm now let's erase this now here we can replace these two resistance by a single well single resistance value of 3.75 so it will be of 3 point 3.75 ohm now again here we can see this 3.75 and this 10 ohm are connected in series so let's copy this again and we can replace these two resistance by a single resistance of 3.13 point 13.75 ohm here we can see 10 plus 3.75 it will be 13.75 ohm we can erase these two resistance these two marks and this current is current I double prime this current will remain same now next 13.75 and 8 ohm are connected in parallel 13.75 ohm parallel with 8 ohm it will be 13.75 into 8 divided by 13.75 plus 8 it will be 13.75 into 8 divided by 
सेवन फाइव प्लस एट इट इज इक्वल टू फाइव पॉइंट एट सिक्स फाइव पॉइंट एट सिक्स ओम नाउ लेट्स कॉपी दिस फ्रॉम हियर नाउ अगेन वी कैन रिप्लेस दिस टू रेजिस्टेंस बाय अ सिंगल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट एट सिक्स सो इट विल बी फाइव पॉइंट एट सिक्स ओम नाउ आई टू इज इक्वल टू V upon R. Now here voltage value is six, resistance value is five point eight six plus six plus eight. So it is equal to six divided by five point eight six plus eight. Zero point four three two. Zero point four three two ampere. it is the value of i2 but here we have to find the value of this current i double prime so let's copy this now here according to current division rule by using current division by using current division rule i double prime is equal to this current i2 multiplied with opposite branch resistance now we have to find this current i double prime so its opposite or parallel branch is 8 ohm so 8 divided by 8 plus 13.75 so i2 value is 0.432 into 8 divided by 8 plus 13.75 so it will be 0.432 into 8 divided by 8 plus 13.75 so it is equal to 0.158 and the direction of this current is left word this is the value of i double prime and we have to find current i we have to find this current i ab so i ab or we can say i l or we can only only write i to better understand now the direction of i prime and i double prime are opposite i double prime is leftward and i prime is rightward so what we will do we will subtract bigger value minus smaller value so here larger value is i double prime minus i prime so i prime i double prime value is 0.158 we are subtracting because the directions are opposite and we are taking bigger value minus smaller value then the value of i prime is here we can see the value of i prime is 0.0844 0.0844 now here these values are not precise so we might get slightly different answer now i is equal to if we calculate this we get 0.0736 0.0736 ampere or we can say i is equal to 73.6 73.6 milli ampere now let's verify our answer in circuit simulator now here we can see it is getting answer 84.5 and it is moving from b to a so here its direction will be according to the direction of this i double prime which is towards left that means our answer is correct but this is this error this slight error due to is due to the calculation error don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching